A memorandum of understanding was signed and aims at rehabilitating, re-educating and reintegrating errant youths into society. Public Security Minister Kemrad Ramjitan called on stakeholder non-governmental organizations to play their part in the implementation of the provisions of the Juvenile Justice Act. We also wanted to see a framework which would ensure that it uh, saw professionals in the forefront supporting juveniles rather than prison warders. That's a huge development. UNICEF's resident representative, Sylvie Foyer, commended the minister for walking the walk and offering youths a second chance. Support and leadership on this from you, the ministry, the partners, is really key in changing the narrative around the reality for young people, in particular when they are doing minor offences. United Builders CEO and civil society representative, Bonita Montagu, welcomed the initiative. We have to do a lot of work educating the public so they understand that this does not alleviate or, or avoid justice, but it actually is justice. Referencing his improvised upbringing, Regional Health Officer for Region 4, Dr. Quincy Jones, noted that imprisonment to a child often does more harm than good. The Juvenile Justice Act and the department, the Juvenile Justice Department recognizes this. And this is tangible efforts in the right direction. Chief Magistrate Anne McKinnon commended magistrates in collaboration with UNICEF and the NGOs for using their initiatives when dealing with youths in certain cases. Today, therefore, the judiciary and more particularly the magistracy are pleased that we have reached to this stage where we are going to concretize these programs. They will be in place and therefore they will be available to the magistrates to give them the option to make the appropriate orders. Paul McAdam for InfoHub.